In 1919, the United States Public Health Service created a traveling exhibit of sorts called Keeping Fit. The boys, and boys only, would view the exhibit in total silence. No lectures, no commentary. Keeping Fit was the first government-funded sex ed program in the country, and it was created in the face of threats some real and others perceived. The first was very real. Thousands of soldiers were returning from World War I with either gonorrhea or syphilis, either of which could cause severe birth defects or miscarriage. The other threats were more perceived. Between 1880 and 1920, over 20 million people entered the United States, and this was perceived as being a threat to the white race. The other threat was the media. Licentious movies, books, magazine articles, all tempted boys to seduction, even to masturbation, and were thought to make girls fast and loose. Keeping fit grounded sex in marriage with the intent of breeding better babies. And boys were the ones who could control themselves, control their bodies, and control the future of the race.